The following is a presentation of TFNN. The Tiger Technician Hour with your host, Ezel Chapman. Call now, toll free at 1-877-927-6648. Good morning, everyone. This is the Friday edition, 21st of October. Very exciting. Of course, it's exciting. <laughs> if you're an intraday trader, I, the the massive moves, Not it used to be 20 points in the E-mini, and then it was 30 points. You're now getting 90 to 100 point moves. The, the E-mini uh, at this particular point is up 44, but from the low, because it was down a 20-something point. These are huge moves. This is an exciting session because in terms of time, I have a 136, uh, sorry, one, yeah, 136 rule that is uh, for consolidations on either the upside or the downside. And it's extremely positive if you can have a one day rest or one bar rest and then make the new high or new low uh, from the previous bar. Um, and we've had that. We've had the low that was made in the Dow at 28,660. Uh, uh, 20, there it is. 28,660. And that was on the 13th of October. That was that Thursday turnaround <clears throat> a week from yesterday. And all of a sudden, it makes a new high, a recovery high, that is, the following session, and then turns down huge, holds the red, in this case, as we call it the pink, nine-period exponential moving average, and then has an inside ball, one-day rest, and then it makes a leg B. And that leg B goes to a new recovery high, and then it has a one-day rest. And then yesterday, it just missed it. The diamonds went to within one point of the previous high, two, uh, one penny, and then and two pennies would have made it leg C, and it failed, and it reversed from up 300 yesterday to closing down almost 100. Well, today, we made a lower low, but look at the candle so far. This squeezes on. So we've had one bar rest for peak A, one bar rest for peak B, but it turns out that it's two bars, and maybe today will be the third if there is no high. But the 136 rule is really great because if it's just one bar rest, it means the power of the move is extending. Uh, number two is if it's a three bar rest, it's a little bit uh, uh, longer consolidation, but then it continues. And if it's a six, it means that you almost have to restart the move. You have to get a new signal almost to be able to continue. So this is very exciting. And the way it's going, especially with, I, I, can, I could just feel myself this morning saying, oh my goodness, look at this. We were down over 200 points in the futures. You just want to throw up your hands and say, I mean, if you are, if you are one of those people that have been um, with your portfolio long all this time, or at least for a while, and you're just waiting for some kind of a turnaround, you just say, I don't even want to look at my portfolio. And then this turnaround, it's, it's like when we have those like um, these major, major sell-offs going into a, a V-shaped low, and you get the cameras and all the news, me and New York Times and uh, CBS and uh, CNBC and uh, all these, these the, ch the, the cameras are outside the stock exchange to say, this was the worst day in history. And intraday, there's this huge turnaround. The VIX goes from very high to very low. It had the feeling of one of those, but just in a very mini place because we've been here before. That Thursday turnaround uh, was quite something on the 13th. So this is the day is young. We're not even uh, an hour into the session. We're, uh, we're 40 minutes, and there's been the spectacular turnaround. The Dow's are 401. Now, a couple of questions came in, a couple of uh, almost statement statements. I'll get to them, plus a lot of questions on, on stocks. I don't want to take too much time now because this is the kind of turnaround that you want to see if you are looking at the volatility index, which now made a lower low. Look at this. Look at the pattern. Lower lows and lower highs. Lower lows. Every single session just about has been lower lows and lower highs. And we're now under 30. We're at 29.56. Third day is young. Anything can happen. We could land up being uh, at up 
uh, at the 31 level by the end of the day. No, no, no. I think that the pressure now is that just on a purely technical basis, and uh, look, the dollar really hasn't given you the great sign that you want by plunging. It's at 113.20. It's down a little bit, but it did try to make a little double top there. Um, the MACD is close to almost turning up, and the stochastic's not too bad. So this consolidation at a high level is just something to say. Let's keep it in mind, and let's just now step back and say, okay, market, now you tell us what's next. Why? Because we're on the cusp of certain things happening. We're on the cusp of seeing the volatility index in October um, pulling back, going into the when is the last week of October is that next week yeah next oh, what is today today is the uh, yeah next week will be the last week of October and we actually end the month so many times this year uh, we've ended the month on the last day of the last trading day of the week so this is going to be very important because if the VIX index at any point closes on a, on a I'm not going to say on a one day basis it needs more than that on a two day basis the low of the 5th of October was 28.50 if we can close Anywhere around 28.20 or lower, the, on any two days, in other words, two days has to be down. It could be over a period of three days, but it needs to be down there. It needs to be say, I want to test that left side lobe in this arch formation to say that the rectangle is going to, the rectangle, the large rectangle and the Chapman Wave methodology is going to work because it took out halfway after testing almost the high of 34.88 in the VIX index, 34.53 on the 12th of October was the double top. And you can see, I drew it in here, the left side high was way better with technicals than the right side retest. And that just says, in this particular pattern, if you if it starts to trade halfway, that's at about 31.80, let's call it 32. Um, in between the high and the low, there's a real good chance you're going to test the base, and that is the rectangle low. All right, enough with that. Now let's just go on. I want to show you the S&P right now. The S&P has a lot of work to do. I, I don't know why I didn't type that in. Now every day I have to look at it, so I'll just do this. I did a whole analysis yesterday of the S&P on a daily basis with a lot of the Chapman Wave methodology, 37.62.79, 62.79. We've got a long way to go. 37, uh, 3763 starts your leg C. So this is still just nothing to get excited about at this particular point in the S&P. It's made low lows and lower highs. It needs to decisively get into the 3800s to be able to say that is really good because the MACD will be improving a lot. There's a chance that the nine period moving average, which is still under the 14, turns up and goes green. And that'll be a big positive. A lot to look for. There, the QQQ, don't get too excited. This also has a long way to go. It's at 271.50. Nice action, but just nice because you have to put it together with the SMHs, and the SMHs are up about almost three at 183.05. Yesterday, they had a pretty decent session and then closed horribly. There's a lot of work to be done in the semi. So, this is all a process. Now, I need to go to, I'm going to just skip golden. I'm going to do this because yesterday when we were looking at the TBT, at that particular time, there was actually a, a doji candle. Doji candle? What are, what are you talking about? There's a huge green candle and a whopper of a green a, a, a gap up today. We'll talk about that. This is really important at this particular point. We'll look at the TBT. We'll look at the... If you're looking for potential trading setups in the stock market, then Rocket Equities and Options Report is a newsletter you should try. Tommy O'Brien delivers options and equity trades when the markets present them using a combination of fundamentals and technicals. Sign up for Rocket Equities and Options Report today with a 30-day money-back guarantee so you have nothing to risk. For all the details and to start your subscription today, visit the front page of TFNN.com. TFNN, educating investors. Are you looking for a way to consistently add winning trades to your portfolio? Tom O'Brien is here to help. Tom O'Brien has been successfully trading markets for over 30 years. A frequent contributor to TD Ameritrade Network and CNBC, Tom O'Brien founded TFNN over 20 years ago to help educate investors just like you. 
Tom's Daily Market Newsletter, Market Insights, is published every morning when the markets open to give you the competitive informational edge you need to succeed. These newsletters are packed full of Tom's advanced technical analysis and are geared to deliver comprehensive strategies for a successful portfolio. Get Tom O'Brien's newsletter, Market Insights, today and try all of our products and newsletters 30 days risk-free with our money-back guarantee at TFNN.com. TFNN, educating investors. Everything in the universe is governed by the Fibonacci. FNN.com. Don't miss out on the next great gold trade. Sign up today. TFNN is excited about our new software charting program, The Art of Timing the Trade Charts. In collaboration with Tom O'Brien and using his best-selling book, The Art of Timing the Trade, Your Ultimate Trading Mastery System, David White has programmed an outstanding piece of software that will complement any trader's methodology. Using this first-of-its-kind program, The Art of Timing the Trade Charts allows you to scan thousands of stocks for Fibonacci formation setups, including Gartley's, ABC's, Butterflies, and much more. The Art of Timing the Trade Charts is designed to help you when scouring the markets for stocks just beginning to form the trading patterns that many investors spend days, weeks, or even months searching to find. And right now, we're offering licenses available at only $79 a month. We are so confident that you're going to love this new charting software that will even give you a 30-day unconditional money-back guarantee. Don't miss out on this incredible new piece of software. Get your copy of The Art of Timing the Trade Charts today by visiting TFNN.com. Sharpening your skills as an investor is like getting better at playing a musical instrument. You have to practice, sure, but you also need excellent instruction from experts. At TFNN, you'll get advice and guidance from the authority in technical market analysis. And it's not just dry, tedious text either. TFNN airs live financial content streamed live on TFNN.com and TFNN's YouTube channel with Tiger TV. Live every market day from 8.30 a.m. to 4 p.m. Eastern for free. Each host is an experienced trader and gives their take on the market while taking calls and questions live from around the world. From the moment the market opens until the closing bell sounds, Tiger TV has eight different shows with expert hosts to help you make the right moves with your money. Watch online at TFNN.com or on TFNN's YouTube channel and become the investor you were born to be. TFNN, educating investors. This segment is brought to you by Think or Swim. For more information, just click the Think or Swim banner on the front page of TFNN.com. Hi, folks. So uh, this is uh, Robert Half. I think he's signaling. It's not the, I mean, the others as well, but I'm just thinking here that when the news comes out, just remember we were talking about inflation, that when the genie is let out the box, I mean, the inflation genie, it is really hard to get it back in the box. But if you look at the way the commodities have acted, even if you look at crude oil, uh, just up until, oh, did I type that in the right page? Uh, crude oil, uh, even if you're just thinking of it in the shorter term, it's made, since it, uh, crude oil made its high back in uh, earlier this year, back in the, around, it depends on the continuous contract, but around about 120, that was in March. And then we retested, we double topped in June. And then we've been coming back. Uh, even this is just saying that if you look at crude oil, I, I'm looking at something like the XLE, which is done really well. But this is a little bit a little bit different to the pure crude oil itself, because crude oil is under different pressures. And as long as it's holding at a, at a certain range, uh, the, the energy sector is going to be benefiting, right? So XLE is acting well. It's gone to leg C finally in the um, in the in the weekly charts, a leg D in the daily, and at peak E at 93, I think it was 93.31.95 or 93.31 uh, back in uh, June. Uh, you're looking at it was 95, I guess. Uh, you're looking at this um, coming back again towards a retest. Now, so in other words, I'm just saying that you're going to have to have all of these things where the Fed is just one week get so overwhelmed by the decline in certain things that they say they're letting off for a moment, and that will really help the market. The way the monthly charts are, are pointing right now for the, let's just go back to the TBT, 
for the TVT, it's suggesting that, yes, you could get a consolidation, but the, the most important last high that was made back in November of 2018, remember when the Fed said that uh, they were going to do something? So you're looking at uh, uh, 4170. I would say that that 4170 is still a target. Now, when? I'm not sure. So I just wanted to put that together as a package. Number one is to get a more sustained move, you need at least to have a hint that the Fed, at least for that, that particular phase, is going to slow down. And the only way I can see it is if you start to get this cumulative commodity slide, I would suspect it, it needs to be with crude oil, but that's going to be a different kettle of fish because we're coming into winter. I just quickly need to look at heating oil. Heating oil should be moving. Oh, we made a peak E the other day at 4.1, somewhere around the 4.1 area. And here it is at 3.6. It's pulling back. And then I want you to go to, so the question came in. Uh, uh, Basil, I, I always want to call in. I, I don't call in because I'm busy listening because you're in all these different all these different areas um, that I'm interested in. But today I wanted to send you an email and ask you, what about UNG, natural gas, uh, uh, John? So, uh, John, this is what I'm looking at, NG. Natural gas has gone even today after yesterday's action where there was a chance that there was a little bit of a doji candle. And I said, I'm not, I'm not saying anything yet, but I'm looking at it. It took out the left side low in the weekly chart. This is one of those rare instances I have to get rid of this up arrow, which was implying that because it made a new high and it was after a peak, a peak D, which was way up here, which could have had an instant re Oh, my goodness. I did not do that. I did not see it until this very moment. Oh, my, I just wish I had seen that. You know how I was talking about, what is the thing that I was talking about just a moment ago? And I said, in the Chapman Wave, um, unconventional flat-based restart, there should be a pullback. Was that wheat? Was that one, one of those? Look at this. I did not realize it. I'll do that right now because this is the Technical Friday and we want to do technical things. I've got another, yeah, Exxon, the question about it, I'm getting to it in a moment. Um, look, let's make this an A and I'm going to make this bigger. I'm going to make it as big as, I'll make it 18 and I'll make it pink. I want you to be able to see it real clear. Pink, right there. Okay, and I'm going to set it as a default right there. Look at this. The Chapman Wave unconventional flat base restart. This could be an A, a B, whoops, uppercase. Didn't I just make that a format? Okay, set and font set. Okay, here we go. A, it's a form of the Chapman Wave unconventional flat base restart, and I don't expect many people to get this, but there are enough people that have done my courses that will understand exactly what I'm talking about. This could be the C. You've already had one level that's taken that out. You get to another one and it gets to a D. This is very difficult to see. If I had actually looked at it this way and had drawn in what I always do, I did not do that yet. This is a Chapman Wave instant restart. So it can only happen at a peak D that pulls back and within three bars, it takes out that left side high of the D and starts E, which becomes E slash A, B, uh, F slash B, G slash C, which often goes to a D. And look at the plunge and it says that the low that was made should be taken out and it's done that. All right, that's a tough one. But it is saying that natural gas has plummeted and that for us to see a kind of a turnaround, and this might be saying what a wonderful winter we, we're going to have very little, um, uh, very little um, cold or snow or something. I don't know. But for this to change, I would have to say that a close above not just 5.819, which is the level right now of the nine period moving average pink in the natural gas, but a close above 6.11, somewhere in the 6.5. In fact, to even change the trajectory of the down of the tide going down, the low of Continuous contract low of five point. Okay, that's uh, six point four four oh nine. 
on the 16th and on the 17th you've got 6.314 as the high so that needs to be taken out so that it could finally get to the 200 period moving average of 6.99 doesn't mean to say in the very short term if it got a turnaround you could start some kind of a buy on the ung the ung which is trading at 17.63 what i am saying is within the context of reversal patterns the unbalanced volume is extremely oversold. The stochastic is at 2.6. I mean, that is like 18.4. Uh, 96.4 uh, 90, 90, on the upside, which is fantastically positive. So this is very negative, and therefore it's very close to some kind of a turnaround. But to get a, a turnaround of substance, you want to see this dreaded H close decisively above the low in the, of the UNG of the week of the 1st of July of 1828, and it has to do that within two weeks. So we're getting, oh, look at this peak D in the monthly chart. I mean, Ds are, oh, look at that D. So all right, I get, I've done that. So yeah, John, I hope that helps you. I would say I'd rather not buy a, a, a catch a falling knife. I'd rather get a turn to the upside, and it, it'll take more than one green bar. It's going to take maybe two green bars to say there's a chance. And there are a lot of things that you need to look at. And I would definitely use something like the, uh, you can maybe not even 120 minute chart, you could uh, go to a, a shorter term one, but I'll just go to the 120 minute chart, which is right there. Click, and we'll see what we've got. Oh, a huge gap down. This could be throwing in the towel. This is. All I can say is I, I wouldn't want to be in the wrong position over the weekend, but if you're able to monitor it uh, in, in overnight trading, if you had a nibble right here at 1770, that's one thing. But I personally would wait for a reversal to the upside. You might think that if you want to be successful at trading in the stock market, you're going to need a crystal ball. After all, it's impossible to predict the future, right? Like any endeavor in life, before you decide it's impossible, get some advice from the experts. You might find that it's not so impossible after all. For daily market overviews that give you direction on the key indices, selective stocks, and commodities, subscribe to the opening call newsletter at TFNN.com. The opening call newsletter is written by Basil Chapman, creator of the trading methodology known as the Chapman Wave. The Chapman Wave up-down sequence gives you an edge in identifying price turns, finding the peaks and valleys in stock prices. Get the opening call newsletter by Basil Chapman in your inbox every day. First-time subscribers also get a 30-day money-back guarantee. If you're not satisfied, let us know, and you'll get a full refund within 30 days of signing up. TFNN.com, educating investors. The technology around us is changing every day. With so much happening, it can seem impossible to keep up with all the information. David White's investment newsletter, The Technology Insider, is designed to give you all the information you need to understand the technology that shapes today's markets and tomorrow's future. David White has made his living staying on the cutting edge of technology. His weekly newsletter will give you specific recommendations for value tech stocks, as well as entry prices, target prices, and stops to set for each trade. Dave delivers his weekly newsletters every Friday with updates throughout the week. You can get the Technology Insider at TFNN.com for only $37.50. Sign up for David's newsletter, The Technology Insider, and get an inside look at everything the technology sector has to offer. Try it risk-free today with our 30-day money-back guarantee. TFNN, educating investors. Biotech is booming, but for how long? Whether you think the biotech bull has room to run or has run its course, trade LABU or LABD. Direction's daily S&P Biotech three times bull and bear ETFs. Visit directioninvestments.com slash biotech today. An investor should consider the investment objectives, risks, charges, and expenses of the direction shares carefully before investing. The prospectus and summary prospectus contain this and other information about direction shares. To obtain a prospectus or summary prospectus, please contact direction shares at 866-476-7523. 
The prospectus or summary prospectus should be read carefully before investing. An investment in the funds is subject to risk, including the possible loss of principal. The funds are designed to be utilized only by sophisticated investors, such as traders and active investors. Distributor Foresight Fund Services, LLC. This program is brought to you by Vista Gold, traded on the NYSE American and TSX under the symbol VGZ. So yesterday at about this time, yeah, about this time, or no, just as we were getting close to the end of the show, I said, oops, we've got a peak F top in the one minute chart. You remember that? And uh, I can't remember what it was in the uh, 120 minute chart. Was that the one? Uh, there it was. Okay. Yeah, peak F top in the um, in the in the ten minute chart. Well, that was the top. And we look at this. We went from the two two forties, so two forties, three seven forties, uh, down to. And it was just yesterday, but today the low has been uh, thirty six forty one. I would say that's a hundred points. It's a big move. All right. So I don't want to waste time now. I'll, the left, I'll do it all next week. I'll do. I, I, some uh, some people have asked me, could you please do some of that left side, right side price time match? I will do that. But the question about an instant restart, the whole thing about a chap wave instant restart. He has a, a stock, Albemarle Corporation Chemicals for Electronics, Lithium, Petroleum. And just this has been in the sweet spot, and now it's a little bit out of it. Double topped in the uh, monthly chart in the 291 area, then it went to 300 and then pulled back. So this is an instant restart. You see, you get to the peak D, you have a good move up, you get to a peak D, and within this case, it's two bars, it makes a new high. So the, the in the Chapman Wave, all you do is you go, you continue, you can, it, I'm making it easy now, you just continue with a notation, but you're thinking E maybe slash A, F slash B, and then it pulls back very sharply. That could have been the top, but look, the, the nine period moving average just suddenly later on crossed negative for one day and then went back up. So then that means there's an alternate count, and finally you get to G slash C and you get to a D. So the whole idea of the Chapman Wave instant restart is within three bars, it makes another high, and that gives you the chance, if all the technicals are good, that it could not only go higher. But you can say it's going to go to three or even four higher peaks. That's an uncanny, beautiful technique. Well, it did that. So the question is about Exxon. So there's no, it's a completely different technique. There is no instant restart because although this is a leg D, because that was a peak C and then it pulled back to the 200 period moving average, it ran up to a peak D. But within three bars, it took one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight bars. So this is not an instant restart at all. So the instant restart only applies on the way up or down. If at leg D or peak D, there's a pullback and within three bars, it goes to a high, high, you use the alternate count. It could be extremely positive. On the way down, it's very, very negative. We've seen that in so many of the charts on the way down as well. So. We've got a potential double top. This is another thing I'm monitoring very closely. Um, 105.57 was the high in June. Today's high is 106.16. And we've seen so many charts over the last year and a half that no matter how long it takes, they get back to a previous high. It could be a week. It could be a month. It could be even a year or two years. They get back to the previous high. And within pennies, they have a turnaround. In this particular instance, the technicals on Exxon Mobil, XOM, trading at uh, 105.24 up thirty-one, are still so strong that I think they will be uh, slightly higher highs, maybe not slightly, but they'll be higher highs. So this is a little different, and the on-balance volume isn't overbought at all. It's getting there, but it's not there yet. Stochastics are 92% MACD is good. Hope that answers your question. So it's still doing well. So remember, instant restart. Yeah, I've circled it right here. And I can't believe how many over the last couple of years, how many uh, instant restarts in monthly charts have turned out to be. I used to think that, ah, oh, it's a monthly chart. Surely it's not going to work. 
No, I've seen, I, no it, they did work, but the numbers that we saw over the last year going to the highs in 2021 are just uh, amazing. So the monthly chart, this is in play. So this becomes a G slash C because of that in the monthly chart. G slash C. Still very good. Means it could pull back and then go to a D and then ExxonMobil has a much bigger timeout. We'll just see its leg D in the weekly chart. We'll, we'll monitor this closely. Okay, VIX index. VIX index is still down a little bit, just down 25 cents at 29.73. Dow's up 242, S&P's up 20. I would say that I would have expected to be down about 37 to 41 cents. So, so far, it's actually holding pretty well. But look at the picture. Look at this. This is 2022. Look how many red candles on the weekly chart there is. And it, it tells you that there's been a preponderance of negativity in the chart formation of the VIX index. Okay, question came out. Did that, did that, did that. Oh, Tesla. I'm sorry, yesterday I didn't see it until too late. Question on Tesla. Uh, oh, I forgot to put who it was from. It was uh, a him and a her. And now I can't find uh, where it is. Anyway, the question was, is it now time to get into Tesla? And my answer is, I've had a target for Tesla on the downside of this whole series of um, very thin wicks, the wicks of the month of March of 2021 and May of 2021. 20, uh, that was 182 and 179, I think. Yeah, 179.83. That area has been my target. We have made the dreaded H. No, we're making an arch formation, which will become a dreaded H if there's a move below. Oh, there has been. So this is in the process of a dreaded H in the weekly chart. The low that was made right there on the week of the 27th of May at 206.86. Uh, we even uh, today we're at 203.80, and yesterday was the Doji candle low of 202. Round number low. Okay, now the round number becomes quite important. I'll put it in, 202, and always put in round number low. Will that stay? That's really important. If there is a close below 200, Tesla could have a really quick pullback to the one, did I say 87? 87. To the 179. 182 to 187 level. So I'm watching this very closely. And my theory was that within the context of the EV sector, electric vehicles, Tesla's getting much more competition. I see Teslas everywhere. You remember I used to I used to count them just to, for fun. I'd say, oh yeah, Newton, I'm driving along. And within, within a mile, I had seen maybe two or three uh, just passing me by, and they could be on their way to anywhere. I mean, this, uh, whatever. And I said, at one point, I said, isn't it interesting going to the star market? This is a supermarket and seeing a Tesla there. You didn't see that very often. No, it's just they're everywhere. So there's, they are very common. And it's really important to say Tesla is under pressure. But my thinking has been for a long time that when Musk took his eye off the ball and now he's got another company to worry about, that's never a good thing. I see the same thing about CRM, that guy from Benoya, whatever his name is, from uh, Salesforce, took his eye off the ball and look at the stock, 311 down to 130. Are you grinding in the market, but seeing little to no return? Or are you a successful trader, simply looking to make your job a little easier? Learn to take the path of least resistance with David White's powerful trading newsletter. David White is an accomplished trader whose deep understanding of technology and the markets allows him to consistently find and share winning trades. Support and resistance define the ranges in which stocks trade. By understanding these trading ranges, David White is able to find the path of least resistance. David White's trading newsletter, The Path of Least Resistance, is delivered daily before the markets open to make every trading day an easy win. Visit TFNN.com today.
and subscribe to David White's Ultimate Trading Newsletter for $119 a month and try all of our newsletters risk-free with our 30-day money-back guarantee. Take the path of least resistance at TFNN, educating investors. You might think that if you want to be successful at trading in the stock market, you're going to need a crystal ball. After all, it's impossible to predict the future, right? Like any endeavor in life, before you decide it's impossible, get some advice from the experts. You might find that it's not so impossible after all. For daily market overviews that give you direction on the key indices, selective stocks, and commodities, subscribe to the opening call newsletter at TFNN.com. The opening call newsletter is written by Basil Chapman, creator of the trading methodology known as the Chapman Wave. The Chapman Wave up-down sequence gives you an edge in identifying price turns, finding the peaks and valleys in stock prices. Get the opening call newsletter by Basil Chapman in your inbox every day. First-time subscribers also get a 30-day money-back guarantee. If you're not satisfied, let us know and you'll get a full refund within 30 days of signing up. TFNN.com, educating investors. Everything in the universe is governed by the Fibonacci sequence. This mathematical principle is responsible for everything from the most aesthetically pleasing artwork to patterns in the stock market. To stay on top of stock patterns you can take advantage of, sign up for the Fibonacci 24-7 newsletter at TFNN.com. When you subscribe, you'll get a weekly report from veteran day trader Larry Pesavento on stocks you need to pay attention to. And you can trust Larry's analysis. After all, he's got 45 years experience as a day trader. Larry will also provide daily charts, videos, and data on the key markets that he's tracking. Expect notifications from Larry on market movement you need to act on at any time. First-time subscribers also get a 30-day money-back guarantee. If you're not satisfied, let us know and you'll get a full refund within 30 days of signing up. Subscribe to the Fibonacci 24-7 newsletter today. TFNN.com, educating investors. This segment is brought to you by Think or Swim. For more information, just click the Think or Swim banner on the front page of TFNN.com. Hi, uh, folks. So I just wanted to put the cold. I was asked about cold. This is the uh, Prochairs Ultra Short uh, for the natural gas. So it looks exactly the same. Now, I did put in, uh, there's a Chapman Wave Instant Restart. I put a Chapman Wave Unconventional Flat Base Restart to 16s, but there's a big difference. The pattern we're looking at usually has big pullbacks towards the um, the starting point, and then it goes higher. This is a little different. Actually, I should take that out because this is a little different. I've got this as an F slash B. Everything about it says it's so oversold that it should uh, be pulling back. And I'm just going to say, if you're in it, I would take a little bit off. Just money management says at 26.05, it had a spectacular move up. I bet you didn't expect it to go from the 23s to the 26s in one day. So let's just make this simple right now. Um, and for my subscribers, I believe, I'm not sure, but I'm probably going to make my video for the uh, weekend tonight. Maybe it'll be tomorrow, but we'll see. But I'll, I'll have it out. Um, 29.75 on the VIX, down 23. If by the end of the day it comes back to about 20 to about 30.15, that says, uh-oh, whatever that reflex rally was, uh, that's all it is, reflex rally. If in fact by the end of the day there's another burst of buying, and the VIX index at 29.79 actually goes below 29.30, uh, 29.20, sorry, 29.20. There's a real good chance that we, that that will sustain all the way into the close. So with that said, and one of the reasons why we went along yet again a little more aggressively in the uh, the Dow is because that that pullback yesterday just the it smelt of a of a rug pull, and then quality this morning, and the technicals were still very good. So we'll see if it's sustainable. Have a wonderful uh, weekend, everyone. Stay tuned for Steve Rose. Got great programming here. Don't forget, Tommy Jr. starts us off for the market kickoff at nine. Fabulous programming. Have a good weekend. Check out my opening call daily newsletter. See you on Monday.